In the middle of Rockstar's catalog of games sits a unique and charming tale about surviving high school life. It's my personal favorite Rockstar game, and in this video I'm taking a look back at this one-of-a-kind game. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You play as Jimmy Hopkins, a troubled 15-year-old boy who's been expelled from his seventh school. The game starts with your mother and stepfather dropping you off at a boarding school called Bullworth Academy while they go on their honeymoon. Bully takes us through Jimmy's first year at Bullworth. Bullworth Academy is run by a clueless principal and the various social cliques that are always fighting. As the new kid, you don't belong to any of these cliques and are seen as an outcast. The goal of the game is to stand up against the bullies and unite the school. To do so, you have to gain respect from each of the different cliques. They consist of the bullies, nerds, preppies, greasers and jocks. There's also a clique outside the school, which are the townies, but they don't show up until later in the game. Every clique has their own individual strengths and weaknesses. For instance, the nerds are very bad at up-close fighting, but use gadgets like fireworks and slingshots to hit from afar. A big contrast to the jocks, who excel at melee combat. All the different cliques hang out in specific places around Bullworth, their turf so to speak. For example, the greasers hang by the auto shop and the preppies hang out at the rich part of Bullworth. It all makes sense. The story in Bully is very simple, but it's the hilarious characters and situations that make the game memorable. It's honestly one of the funniest games I've ever played. You do me a favor, and I'll show you some real moves. Classified moves, real special army stuff. Cool. The game does a great job of making you feel like you are a student at this high school. Jimmy has two classes every day, which you can either attend or ditch. Each course has a mini game tied to it, which gets harder as you progress through the classes. Whenever you complete a class, you'll get rewarded with a perk specific to the class. For example, Geography marks collectibles on your map, while Jim rewards you with more fighting moves. It's a great system. The game opens up every time you finish a chapter. In chapter 1 you can only explore Bullworth Academy, and in chapter 2 you can head into the town. Upgrading Jimmy via the classes, and the map slowly opening up, gives the game a great sense of progression. You always have something new and interesting to do. So, let's talk a little bit about the game's world and presentation. Bullworth is quite a small map when compared to other Rockstar titles like GTA or Red Dead Redemption. But what it lacks in size, it makes up in depth. <laughs> Classic. There's a joke in there somewhere. There are no repeat buildings and the map is incredibly varied. It consists of six districts. There's Bullworth Academy, which has the main building, dorms, a library, football field and more. Then there's Bullworth Town, which houses a lot of shops and the town hall. To the left of that is Old Bullworth Vale, the part of town where all the rich people live. It's also next to a lake and contains a huge carnival. New Coventry is the low income district, with lots of graffiti, boarded up windows and shady looking alleyways. Next up is Blue Skies Estate. It's the industrial district of the town, where most of the townies hang out. This part of town is even poorer than New Coventry and has mostly factories, industrial buildings and a trailer park. And finally, there's the psychiatric hospital, tucked away in the corner of the map. It's pretty spooky. All of these districts are quite distinct from each other, but fit together nicely to create a real small town atmosphere. And atmosphere is where this game really excels. The game changes seasons when you work your way through the story. It creates a real cozy vibe and a sense of time progressing. A nice little detail I caught is the fact that you can see the first couple of snowflakes falling at the end of chapter 2. When chapter 3 arrives, it's full blown winter. Even the map changes, it's a nice touch. When Christmas comes around, you get a whole slew of Christmas themed missions and even receive a Christmas sweater from your mom. How nice. You got it, right? No. Okay, then you wanna sit on my knee? You wanna kick in the balls? I'm sorry. The game also has a Halloween team mission in the fall, in which you pull pranks on fellow students and the PT teacher. It's great. Almost every NPC has a name and a unique model. This combined with the fact that there are no repeat buildings, make this game world feel alive. Another detail I really enjoyed is that after you complete certain missions or side quests, Jimmy's room fills up with trophies. There's 40 of them in total to collect. Something this game does very well is the fact that you can interact with almost anything. All the arcade machines have a unique minigame and high scores tied to them. Some of them are actually very fleshed out. Socially, you can also interact in many different ways. For example, if you start throwing food in the school's cafeteria, you can start a food fight. You can do the same thing with snowballs in the winter. Additionally, you know that system in Red Dead Redemption 2, where you can interact with NPCs? 
Bully pioneered that system. You can also use it to try and woo girls on campus. Nice. There's a huge amount of side content to explore. I'm not gonna cover all of it in this video, but I'll list some of it off. You can participate in go-kart races, mow the lawn, play dodgeball, do bike races, play basketball and go to the carnival. And that covers maybe half of the stuff you can do. Speaking of stuff you can do, I haven't covered the main missions and moment to moment gameplay yet. The main missions offer a great variety of situations for Jimmy to solve. From boxing the preppies, to sabotaging the jocks football game. It's all great. The only thing I would have liked to see differently was a bit more freedom in how you can tackle each mission. The game has Rockstar's typical linear mission structure. There's nothing wrong with that, but it feels a little bit restricting as opposed to the sandbox nature of its open world. Aside from that, the missions are awesome. It's hard not to compare the gameplay to that of GTA, because it's very similar. But instead of kids running around with guns and grenades, we get a slingshot, stink bombs, firecrackers and more. And instead of driving cars, we get a skateboard, bikes, a scooter and a go-kart. In addition to the ranged combat, Jimmy can also fight it out with his fists. It plays out like a brawler and Jimmy can use combos and grapple enemies with ease. It works pretty well, especially for a game from 2006. One minor nitpick I have with the game is the camera. It automatically recenters if you start moving. It's quite annoying at first, but I got used to it pretty quickly. This is probably a good time to talk about the PC port, which I'm playing right now. It's one of the worst ports on Steam, and I can only recommend it if you're willing to download a couple of mods. Silent patch and the widescreen fix are the bare minimum to get the game into a stable state. Alright, before I wrap this thing up, I want to talk about some of the characters and the soundtrack. The game is drenched in satire, and the characters are incredibly stereotypical. Bully fully embraces it all. From the stupid but loyal Russell, To the scheming psychopath Gary. I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. And the hobo that lives behind the school. They're all memorable. <laughs> Take this. Jimmy as a protagonist was also a great choice. He has a tough exterior, but his heart is at the right place. He's not the smartest kid on campus, but he knows how to get things done. Perfect for a game set in high school. And to tie it all together, we have Sean Lee's spectacular soundtrack. It's a timeless collection of music with a heavy focus on basic guitar and mischievous sounds. There are no licensed tracks needed when you have a soundtrack this strong. The atmosphere, world, characters and soundtrack make Bully one of a kind. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel so you get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Alright, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!